Since it was launched in 1869, Nature's mission has been to communicate science to wide audiences, but above all to communicate science to scientists. Nature, of course, is, is famous for the, for the scientific research it publishes, but it also has what we call a front half, which is journalism by science reporters and opinion by scientists and other experts. We're going to make the content more compelling. We are going to make the stories and opinion even more relevant to scientists' lives. We're going to concentrate on scoops and deep analysis that you can't find anywhere else. We're going to make it a must read. If you look at the way science itself is evolving, um, it's getting more complex and interdisciplinary. Um, there's a lot more data around and nature has adapted to reflect those purposes for science. Also, of course, we have the internet and scientists are communicating all the time that way. So our online provision of information has grown tremendously. And I guess above all, the tempo of scientists' lives has speeded up. Everyone's more busy, including us. Um, so getting them the information in an efficient way in terms of navigation on the page and so on is a key factor for them and for us. So for busy readers, we present for example, an entire spread of news snippets that give you essentially the week's most important news at a glance. We've redesigned the way we present longer stories so that it's completely clear from the head and the stand first, or the deck as Americans call it, what the story is about, so you can make a snap judgment about how deep into the story you want to get. But also there are changes we've made in, just in terms of the journalists that we've taken on. We've really tried to make the journalists as strong as possible in uncovering news in interesting ways. So that the news we publish isn't just a regurgitation of events, that more often we're actually uncovering things that are happening for ourselves. We've re-emphasized the need for reporters to, to really go deep into their beats, from the bench all the way up to the policy decisions that affect funding and, and the direction of science. So the reporters go very deep, and at the same time, we have this community of journalists and editors who are interested in many different disciplines and talk all the time, creating this incredible ferment that allows us to make connections, to create packages, to play opinion pieces off news pieces, to basically make an organic magazine out of all these specialties. The content of nature is, is improving, the team that creates that content we've strengthened and the mechanisms via which we deliver that, not just the printed magazine and the, and the website but also the mobile devices, the iPads and iPhones, the e-readers and the netbooks. When scientists need access to our information, they can get it. What you'll see when you pick up nature after September 23rd is first of all, a very different look. Uh, it's been redes redesigned from stem to stern. One goal of this redesign is to make it easier to navigate. The first section of the redesign nature presents news and opinion that really is relevant to what's happened over the past seven days. Presented in a way that gives you a quick scan of everything that, that matters that's happened in the world of science over the past week. It includes highlights of the most recent research published outside nature and it includes opinion, editorials, and a new feature that we're calling Worldview, which will present views from experts on the latest news. It's essentially an op-ed page. That's followed by a section called News in Focus. This presents stories where we decided to go deeper, where we saw an opportunity for greater analysis or context or backstory. And these aren't just good reads, although they are that. Uh, these are a chance for you, the scientist, to really immerse yourself in issues that are, that are relevant to you, even if not directly so. The third section of the redesigned nature is called comment, and it brings together opinion by experts, book reviews, arts reviews, and correspondence, letters from readers about other material in the front section. This comment section is really part of a conversation with our readership. These days, journalism isn't a one-way street. Journalists and opinion leaders telling everybody else what's happened and what to think. We want our comment section to be the beginning of a conversation, um, to spark a debate that goes on online through our commenting service and in the pages of Nature. We're really hoping that the Nature brand, as it were, will be seen as a magazine brand as well as a journal brand. What I'm excited about is taking part in creating the leading magazine about the world of science, one that scientists will turn to every, every week or even every day online to find out what is happening in their world. 
the changes that we're um, uh, launching now are really important, uh, but they're only uh, one step in a much longer uh, journey. The 23rd of September issue is for me a real landmark in the history of nature. That's above all because of the research that's gone behind it. We've done a lot of market research over the last year or even two years, really looking at what people value in our content. And we've added some new types of content. We've added um, new shapes of content. That is, we've done a redesign and a restructuring. So I think the impact on the reader is going to be significantly greater. The reader of that book, as it were, is going to get something just that little bit more impactful. And we're going to go on doing this. We know we've, we've evolved nature ever since I've been a part of nature. And um, there's no end to that because we have to.